Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Amin, Ya Rupal Alamin. Thank you very much. So, how was your Hari Raya last week? Okay, semua? Okay, Madam. Berat naik sikit. <laughs> berat naik sikit. Okay, madam. Sebulan Tentu berat turun naik. berapa? Lepas tu naik berapa? Ha? Bulan puasa berat turun berapa, Wafi? Aduh, lupa pula nak timbang. <laughs> oh, dia kena timbang se awal puasa dan akhir puasa. Lepas tu beberapa hari selepas raya. Ha, confirm naik. Okay. So uh, let's continue back our uh, lecture after one week break for Hari Raya. And uh, we have uh, another three weeks. Week six this week, seven and eight before our one uh, week break uh, for Hari Gawai. And then we'll continue straight from week 9 until week 15, until week 14, until we finish uh, our semester this time. Okay, so uh, today I'll introduce you to this topic. Uh, before that, uh, I would like to remind you on the test one uh, of root locus design topic uh, for uh, 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 this coming Friday, 9.30 a.m. Uh, the question will be distributed uh, using Teams and you need to submit back in Teams. Okay. Um, so let's continue uh, our frequency response uh, topic uh, for this one. Before you can start, uh, sketch your bot plot design your bot plot either using lag or lead compensator. Uh, this is the basic knowledge. Uh, you need to know this 10 frequency response theory where it is the basic of uh, different types of uh, function in your transfer function. Uh, previously in root locus, you are using the transfer function in S domain, but for frequency response technique and design, you need to convert that S domain transfer function into frequency domain. Okay, so for each uh, different types of uh, function in your transfer function, it has its own value for magnitude and phase in terms of starting point and also the slope. Okay, and uh, these values will be used uh, in order to complete the table, uh, the board table uh, that representing your magnitude and phase before you can sketch your uh, magnitude and phase plot for board plot using the similar graph paper correctly and accurately. Then, therefore, you'll be using that value from your board plot sketching for design either using lag compensator or lead compensator. So for the next class, please be prepared with your semilog graph paper since I cannot uh, post the hard copy of semilog graph paper. I already uh, upload in uh, the general part of the uh, file, uh, the teams, and you can download from the frequency response folder. There will be semilog graph paper uh, for decades. For decades, so they must only the part empat decades, uh, empat cycle uh, from uh, scaling 1 until 9 and then repeat balik 1 until 9, dia ada empat cycle saja, empat decades, that's enough. And the one that I've uploaded in the teams is the black and white semi-log graph paper. Uh, you can bring that soft copy to the printing shop and print at least 10 uh, for our uh, discussion and revision from the past year exam question and be prepared for your test Two for frequency response topic in week 12 and also for question two in final assessment later. And you need to uh, practice for bot plot sketch, uh, sketching very quickly uh, so that you, uh, uh, you can finish the design question uh, within the allocated time. Otherwise, if you sketch the bot plot very slow, you cannot finish the design part. You only can uh, uh, finish only uh, by analyzing the stability of the uh, bot plot if you need to. Okay, some students uh, spend too much time on sketching the bot plot until they cannot finish the design question part where the design question part contributed a lot of marks. Okay, so uh, you need to practice a lot so that you can sketch the bot plot very quick. 
So this is our 10 frequency response theory. Let's continue. OK, so the first one, uh, of course, in our transfer function, we have our constant at numerator, constant k, where uh, if you want to plot in terms of magnitude plot, you have to convert into 20 log k. OK, for 20 log k, k is your value of uh, gain, either uh, k is uh, equal to 10, for example, k equal to 10, or k equal to 300, then 20 log 300 for the value of gain k, that will be the value of uh, magnitude in decibel dB. So this is how you convert your numerical value into a magnitude in decibel for plot plot. And for the magnitude part, okay, this is the symbol for magnitude, G in bracket, the unit is dB for magnitude, while G with the unit of uh, degree, the symbol of degree is for phase. And for the magnitude part, the slope, the straight line, meaning that the slope is 0 dB per decade. If you notice, the unit for slope for magnitude is dB per decade. Okay, While the slope for uh, phase is degree per decade. Sometimes they use this symbol degree per decade. Okay. But if you use symbol, uh, this one is easier. And uh, for theory number one, which is for constant K, uh, the phase, the starting point is zero degree. Okay, SP is for starting point. And the slope, since the uh, sketching for phase is straight line, then the slope is zero degree per decade. And um, okay, this is for your constant. Uh, you need to uh, finalize your constant value in the uh, transfer function, then only you calculate 20 log k. Okay, so for again, for magnitude, for theory number one, for k, the constant k, so the starting point is 20 log k, while the slope is 0 dB per decade, while for phase, the starting point is 0 degree, while the slope is 0 degree per decade. If you notice, uh, the x exists for magnitude plot, oh, sorry, for uh, both magnitude and phase uh, for bot plot, the unit is radian per second. Okay, so you need to label your x and y axis for your bot plot in your semi-log graph paper. Next is zero at origin, for example. If you have this transfer function, you have k, this is from uh, theory number one for constant, and you have zero at origin. Okay, so by one, you are the line, uh, you are the pole. Okay, so this one is zero at origin. The zero at origin must be at numerator where s is equal to zero. Okay, for zero at origin, okay, this is fixed, eh? this theory, this time theory is fixed. Okay, so for zero at origin, the starting point is negative 20 dB. This is the starting point for theory number two, zero at origin. While for the slope, okay, is positive 20 dB per decade. Okay, how to measure, uh, how to calculate this uh, slope 20 dB per decade. Okay, if you notice uh, your semi-log graph paper for the x axis okay, in this uh, uh, sketching i write it as the, the origin is zero but actually if you're using the semi-log graph paper uh, you have the scaling from one until nine for one decade and then you repeat again for the next decade one until nine okay so when you want to start your uh, x axis for the uh, both uh, magnitude and phase for the x axis for the frequency scaling, this one must be written as 0 0.1, not zero. So, but you take the zero at sini, you are the one. Okay, scaling you ialah 1 sampai 9. The next decade, 1 sampai 9. So, dia akan repeat. Okay, so in this case, from 0 0.1 until 1, okay, this is one decade. Clear? Yeah. Okay. From this point to this point, the increment is positive 20 dB. Okay. So for that 
a slope, you calculate the slope for each decade, for one decade from 0 0.1 until 1 for one decade, the slope is positive 20 dB. Any questions so far? What is soalan? Okay. Faham ya? Slope. Okay, next, let's move to phase. For uh, zero at origin, the starting point for phase is positive 90 degree while the slope is zero degree per decade. Okay, so any straight line in your phase or magnitude plot, the slope is zero degree per decade or dB per decade. Next one. The third theory is for pole at origin. For example, if you have this one, okay, S at your denominator where this S is equal to zero. So since it is at new uh, denominator, so it is pole at origin. Okay. And for pole at origin, the starting point for magnitude is positive 20 dB fixed while the slope is negative 20 dB per decade. For phase, the starting point is neg negative 90 degree while for the slope is 0 degree per decade. Now let's compare theory number 2 and 3, 0 at origin and pole at origin. 0 at numerator pole at denominator, any function, okay, listen carefully, any function at numerator, the slope will be positive. I repeat, any function at the numerator, either uh, zero or double zero, zero at origin or double zero at origin, the slope will be positive. Okay, constant tak? Constant dia kosong. Walaupun constant dekat numerator, constant slope dia kosong. Both magnitude and phase. Okay. For any function, I repeat, for any function at numerator, except, except, exclude constant, the slope must be positive. That is why this uh, line is going upward. The naik ke atas. Slope positive. Okay, while theory number three for pole at origin. Okay, while theory number three for pole at origin, which is pole is uh, the function at denominator, the slope will be negative. If you notice, the line for magnitude is going downward for negative slope. Any question? Ada soalan? Ada. Okay. The starting point for uh, zero at origin, you nampak dia negatif. Okay. Slope for zero at origin, positive 20 dB, but the starting point negative 20 dB. Be careful ya, yeah, sebab sudah selalu tertukar ni. Okay. Positif dengan negatif. While for pole at origin, pole, kita tahu pole, the slope must be negative, but the starting point is positive. Okay, the starting point for phase. Zero at origin, positive 90. The starting point for pole at origin, negative 90. This one. Okay, can you differentiate between theory number two and three? Boleh. Okay. okay, let's move to the next theory. Theory number four. Theory number four is for double zeros at origin. You can relate theory number four with theory number two. It is almost similar. Okay, it is almost similar, but you double uh, the value. For zero at origin, starting point negative 20, slope positive 20 dB per decade for double zero at origin, you double the starting point from negative 20 to negative 40 and you double the slope from positive 20 dB to positive 40 dB per decade. Clear? Okay, sekarang you are the dual zero at origin.
this one. Okay, while for the face, okay, you double the from positive 9p degree for 0 at origin. For double 0 at origin, the starting point is positive 180 degree. The slope will be maintained 0 degree per decade. Next, theory number five. You can relate theory number five for double poles at origin with theory number three, pole at origin. For pole at origin, the starting point is positive 20 dB. The slope is negative 20 dB per decade. For phase, the starting point is negative 90 degree. For theory number five, we double the value. Starting point positive 20 becomes positive 40. Slope from negative 20 dB per decade becomes negative 40 dB per decade. Starting point for phase negative 90 degree becomes negative 180 degree, while the slope, uh, the phase slope is maintained zero degree per decade. Any questions so far? Are you okay until theory number five? Yeah, madam. Very good. Thank you, Ami. Alia Shahida, okay. Atika, Ain Maisara. Okay. Can I move to the next theory, number six? Okay. We, we, we finish about zero at origin, pull at origin, double zeros at origin, double post at origin. Now we move to the zero, okay? Let's say you have, okay, in this case, S plus four at numerator. Okay, so this is your zero. Okay, for theory number six, okay, which is zero, okay. First, when you have a transfer function in S domain, you need to replace, uh, you need to convert from S domain transfer function to frequency domain by replacing S with J omega. Okay, replace S with J omega. And then you need to rearrange the uh, function after you replace S with J omega. We call it as normalization until you get plus one. In order to have plus one, you need to rearrange your uh, equation or your uh, polynomial function. In this case, in frequency domain, then you have this one. Okay. And because of that, you will have j omega divided by four, and then you have constant four outside the bracket. This constant four, you need to multiply. Okay, let's say you dah tukar ni, you, dah, you already convert this one from S domain to J omega. Okay, so you have this one. And now your constant will be 4K. This one, you can avoid 20. You, using the theory number one, it will become 20 log 4K. You can settle kan? Any constant in the transfer function after you convert from S to frequency domain and you need to do the normalization, you need to settle all the constant in the transfer function using theory number one for constant. Clear? Ada soalan? Okay. okay. Now let's back to theory number six. Okay. Listen carefully. For theory number six, the starting point for magnitude is zero. Okay, the starting point for magnitude is zero dB. Okay, our zero is okay, S plus four. Uh, in S domain, it is equal to S negative four. Okay, but in frequency domain, this is positive four is our cutoff frequency. Kita tak pakai lagi negative because we are dealing with frequency. So we assume all the zeros, either it is negative roots or positive roots. Uh, uh, for zeros and poles, we assume it is positive value in frequency domain. Because we are starting, uh, we will start our 
x axis scaling for your semi graph paper from 0 0.1. So, dia tak ada negative 4 tak ada. So, we assume it is 4. So, 4 which is your 0 is the cutoff frequency. Or the other terms, sometimes they call it as corner frequency. So, CF is cutoff frequency or corner frequency which is actually is your roots 0 ke pole ke. Nilai dia tu kita panggil cutoff frequency. Okay, now for magnitude plot. Below the cutoff frequency for this is your cutoff frequency or your zero. Okay, below the cutoff frequency, the slope is zero dB per decade. This one, zero dB per decade. Any straight line, semua zero dB per decade for magnitude, ataupun in phase, the slope is zero degree per decade. Frequency larger than cutoff frequency in this case for okay larger than cutoff frequency here the slope is positive 20 dB per decade. Okay, so please remember uh, uh, theory number two any zero function the slope is positive. Single root zero, sama macam theory number two, a zero at origin, dia ada satu je zero at origin, slope dia positive 20 dB. Positive sebab dia zero. 20 sebab dia single root. Clear? Okay. If we compare theory number two and number four, positive because it is a zero function. 40 because it's double root. So for this one, theory number four, the slope is positive 40 dB per decade. For theory number six, you are the zero. Zero, slope dia mesti positive. Single zero, single root, nilai dia ialah 20. So the slope will be positive 20 dB per decade. Any question? Okay, kata. That is why, Okay. So, if you notice from 4 until 40, this is one decade. So, this is the value of positive 20. That's why you get uh, the slope positive 20 dB per decade. So, after uh, larger than 40, they can throw sambung je this one. Sampai infinity. So, larger than cutoff frequency, the slope is positive 20 dB per decade. Lower than cutoff frequency, the slope will be 0, degree, 0 dB per decade. Next. Okay. For phase, listen carefully. Okay. For phase, only within this frequency range, yang ni kalau dalam table nanti saya akan label sebagai F. Are frequency range. How to determine this frequency range? Okay, this is your cutoff frequency. So you need to extend one decade before the cutoff frequency. So cutoff cutoff frequency divided by ten. So you get uh, point four. This is your minimum frequency range, and you need to extend one decade after the cutoff frequency. Cutoff frequency multiply with ten. So this is how you determine your frequency range. For cutoff frequency 4, your frequency range is between 0 0.4 until 40. So only within this frequency range for phase plot has non-zero slope. In this case, since it is zero, the slope is positive. For phase, since it is single root, the value is 45. That's why the slope is positive 45 degree per decade. Lower than the frequency range, the slope is 0 degree per decade. Higher than the uh, frequency range, higher than 40, the slope is 0 degree per decade. Only between the frequency range 0 0.4 until 40, it has non-zero slope. In this case, positive 45 degree per decade for single zero. Not zero at origin, but zero. Only one zero. 
ada soalan? Okay tak? Okay. If you notice. Okay. Yeah. okay. From 0 0.4 until 4. This is 1 decade. Okay. And then for each, for one decade, okay, from 4 until 40, this is another decade. This is another one decade. So for one decade, the increment is positive 45. For another decade, the increment is 45. So for two decades, sebab tu dia dapat daripada sini ke sini 90. Clear? So each decade dia dapat uh, kenaikan dia 45. Untuk 2 decade daripada 0.4 ke 40, tu dah kira 2 decade eh. This one the increment is positive 90 degree. Any question? Ada soalan? Frequency range memang untuk 2 decade because you extend 1 decade before and 1 decade after. This is 1 decade before, this is 1 decade after. Uh, you okay until theory number six? Ada soalan? Tak ada? Semua okay? okay? Can I move to theory number seven? Boleh, madam. Alright, thank you. So for theory number seven, you have pole. This is not pole at origin. This is not double pole at origin, but it's a pole. Okay, for example, we have 1 over S plus 3. So, 3 is our cutoff frequency. Since this is pole, okay, so this is your cutoff frequency. Lower than the cutoff frequency, the slope is 0 dB per decade. Starting point for theory number 6, theory number 7 and so on, starting point ialah kosong. Only theory number 2, 3, 4, 5. 1 until 5 yang starting point bukan kosong. Selain daripada tu, starting theory number 6 and so on, starting point untuk magnitude mesti kosong. Okay. And then below then the cut of frequency, this is your cut of frequency which is equal to 3 which is the value of your pole. Slope is 0 degree, uh, 0 dB per decade. Larger than the cut of frequency until infinity, the slope is negative 20 dB per decade. Why negative? Because it is the function from new denominator, pole. Pole slope must be negative. Zero slope must be positive. If it is single root, nilai dia ialah 20. Kalau double root, nilai dia ialah 40. Kalau you ada triple root, nilai dia ialah 60. Okay. So sekarang kita ada satu saja pole pada negatif tiga. So the single root, single pole. So kita kena pakai nilai dua puluh. Kenapa negatif? Sebab dia pole from the denominator. So the slope must be negative 20 dB per decade when the frequency is larger than the cut of frequency. Again, next, let's move to our phase. So this is our cut of frequency. We need to extend one decade before. Cut of frequency divide by 10, we have 0.3. And then we need to extend one decade after cut of frequency multiply with 10, we have 30. Only within this frequency range, you have non-zero slope. In this case, is negative 45 degree per decade. Negative because it's pole. 45 because we have single root. So phase basic dia kalau single root, 45. Kalau untuk magnitude, slope dia single root, 20. Clear? Okay. okay. Next. Okay. So, lower than the minimum frequency range, slope 0 degree per decade. Higher than the maximum frequency range, slope 0 degree per decade. Only between the frequency range 0 0.3 until 300 slope negative 45 per degree. Uh, sorry, 0 0.3 until 30. Slope negative 45 degree per decade. Larger than 30, start daripada 30, slope akan bermula kosong 0 degree per decade. Starting point sama 0 degree. Okay, so can you differentiate between theory number 6 and 7? 
Okay. Yang basic ialah slope. For zero, theory number six, slope ialah positive for both magnitude and phase. For theory number seven, since it's pole, the slope is negative for both magnitude and phase. Starting point for theory number six, theory number seven, magnitude phase starting point is zero. Ada soalan? Okay, for pole pun sama juga. Once you convert into frequency by replacing S with J omega, you need to rearrange and normalize your function until you have plus one. So this one, tiga yang kat depan ni, you kena bawa naik atas, you kena darabkan dengan you punya K, akan guna theory number one, 20 log K. So 20 log K tu kena consider any constant after you normalize your uh, zero, your uh, pulse in the transfer function in frequency domain, then you need to simplify all the constant into one final value of the constant and use theory number one for 20 log K. Tak ada soalan? Okay. Okay, next. The, the final three theories. Okay, this one is double zero. So you can compare theory number eight with number six. Okay, the shape of the plotting for magnitude and phase is almost similar, but uh, we have doubled up the value of slope. Okay, uh, starting point is similar, zero, zero. Slope for uh, magnitude has been doubled to 40. The positive 40 dB per decade. Why positive? Because it is zero. The function from numerator. Why 40? Because we have double zero. This one. So we have S equal to negative 4 and negative 4. Okay, again, you need to normalize your uh, frequency domain function. Okay, so... Uh, Cutoff frequency is 4, so below the cutoff frequency, slope 0 dB per decade. Larger than the cutoff frequency until infinity, the slope is positive 40 dB per decade since we have double zeros. Next, for phase. Again, this is our cutoff frequency. Then we extend one decade before. Minimum frequency range 0.4. We extend one decade after the current frequency. Maximum frequency range is 40. So only within this frequency range, it has non-zero slope. In this case, since we have double zeros, the slope has been double from positive 45 degree per decade to positive 90 degree per decade. Positive because it is zeros from numerator. 90 because we have double root. Okay, out of frequency range below 0 0.4, slope 0 degree per decade. Higher than 40, slope 0 degree per decade. Ada soalan? Are you following me? Yes, I do. Okay. Next. Theory number nine, double pulse. This one you can compare with theory number seven. You have single pole, okay? The plotting for magnitude and phase is almost similar, but we have, uh, since we have two poles at, in this case, negative three, then we double the slope from negative 20 dB per decade from theory number seven into negative 40 dB per decade. Okay, below the cutoff frequency, slope is 0 degree per decade. Higher than the cutoff frequency until infinity, slope is negative 40 dB per decade. Starting point 0 for magnitude and phase. Okay, since our cutoff frequency is 3, so we extend 1 decade before the cutoff frequency, 0 0.3. We extend 1 decade after the cutoff frequency, 30. So only within this frequency, non-zero slope. In this case, we have negative 90 degree per decade. Negative because it is pulled from denominator. 90 because we have double root. In this case, we have double pole. Outside the frequency range, <clears throat> below than 0 0.3, slope 0 degree per decade. Higher than 30, slope 0 degree per decade. 
soalan. Okay. Next. Sometimes you might have um, complex function in your transfer function. So let's say you are given this format. Okay, be careful eh. If it is complex roots, you jangan factorize. You need to maintain in second order polynomial. Jangan factorize. Yeah, the student, there are some students who factorize this complex polynomial uh, roots. Second order polynomial function, the uh, factorize. And then they ignore pula the uh, imaginary value. They ambil yang real part sahaja. Okay, which is wrong. So, if you have the second order polynomial, check first whether it has complex roots or not. If it is complex roots, just maintain the second order polynomial. Jangan factorize. Do not factorize this second order polynomial if you have, uh, if it is from the complex roots, either complex zeros or poles. So, maintain as it is. Okay, for this one, if you want to normalize by replacing S with J omega, okay, we have this square uh, function, okay, and then we replace these two. Okay, when we do normalization, this is the common mistake by student. Common mistake, dia selalu letak 100 kat sini without noticing there is a squared function. Bila you square kan, you maintain J omega over 100, you takkan dapat dah yang sama macam ni. You takkan dapat. So this one you kena square root kan. Barulah you dapat betul balik 100. Dan barulah you dapat yang sama dengan yang atas. Okay, so be careful. Dekat sini selalu student salah. Instead of dia letak 10, dia letak 100. Without realizing it has squared function over there. Okay, so this one salah. Jangan letak 100. Okay, so it is 10. Okay, in this case, your current frequency is 10. Bukan 100. If you are doing like this, you will determine the cutoff frequency for this function is 100, which is wrong. This is the correct uh, cutoff frequency, which is equal to 10. Be careful. Okay. Memang banyak dah student buat mistake. Okay. Let's say we have complex zeros. Okay. We are using the same polynomial, second order polynomial function. So, complex zeros uh, at numerator of your transfer function. So after you normalize, uh, uh, after you convert the S domain uh, polynomial function into frequency domain and normalize until you have plus one. And then this is almost similar to uh, theory number eight. Okay, for theory number eight, you have double zeros. The sum starting point zero db okay starting point 0 db for magnitude and 0 degree for phase okay this is your cutoff frequency 10 bukan 100 below than the cutoff frequency slope 0 degree per decade higher than the cutoff frequency slope positive 40 db per decade okay for phase again Okay, this is your cutoff frequency. You determine, you extend one decade before and one decade after. So only within this frequency range, you has non-zero slope, which is in this case positive 90 degree per decade. Lower than the minimum frequency range, zero degree per decade. Higher than the maximum frequency range, the slope is zero degree per decade. Okay, this is for complex zeros. Because it is zeros, the polarity for the uh, slope is positive since it has two roots. So the value is 90 for magnitude and, uh, sorry, 40 for magnitude and 90 for phase. And the last one, if we have complex poles, okay, you can relate this one with theory number nine, your uh, double, uh, your, uh, uh, double poles, okay. We have the same corner, uh, cutoff frequency or corner frequency. So for this one, since it is false, so the slope is negative 40 dB per decade. Starting point for magnitude, sama, kosong. Starting point for phase is also zero degree. Frequency below than the cutoff frequency, 
uh, the slope is zero degree, zero dB per decade, larger than the car frequency, the slope is negative 40 dB per decade until infinity. And the next one for phase, this is your car frequency, you extend one decade before and after, so only within the frequency range we has, you have non-zero slope, which is negative 90 degree per decade. Lower than one, the minimum frequency range, the slope is zero degree per decade. Higher than 100, the slope is zero degree per decade. That's it for our 10 frequency response theories. Ada soalan? You have to go through to this note so that during the open book test and final assessment, you do not need to waste your time by looking at this note sebab nak tahu, because you want to check what is the starting point, what is the slope for magnitude for phase. Okay, semua dah you dah kena memorize. Kalau tak, you can uh, construct, you, you will, you will uh, spend more time on uh, checking your notes uh, to complete your board table for magnitude and phase and then you need extra time for board plot sketching and you have another question for design using frequency response. Okay. Ada soalan? Semua okay? Okay, you have 10 theories to check. The important part is make sure you know the different types of function in your uh, transfer function. And then you need to uh, uh, determine from which uh, theories that you need to refer to so that you can use the value of starting point and slope for magnitude and phase to complete your board table for magnitude and phase. Ada soalan sebelum kita construct kita punya board table? Tak ada? Okay, okay. Kita break 10 minit. Boleh? Sebelum kita construct board table. Tak ada soalan kan? Okay, break 10 minit. Thank you.
Okay, let's continue. Are you ready? Yes, madam. Okay, let's see. You were given uh, this transfer function in S domain. So you have key at numerator. Okay, so from this uh, transfer function in S domain, first steps you need to convert into a uh, frequency domain transfer function. Okay, by replacing S with J omega. Okay, we replace all the S with J omega and then you uh, you can directly normalize uh, the function for pole. So you have like this plus one. This is what we call normalization. And also the next pole. Okay, next, what you need to do. Okay, this constant, you need to settle with the constant K at the numerator. Okay, so it become 3 over 30 multiply with 200. Then you have this one. Okay, in this case, if, okay, if the value of unknown gain k is given in the question, you have to use that given k. Okay, any value given in the question for the unknown gain k, you need to plug in into this one and then settle it as one final k and then use theory number one for 20 log k the final one the final k okay if the value of unknown gain k is not given my advice is okay, for this one in this case it is k divided by six thousand betul tak ke six hundred six thousand kan okay in this case my suggestion is you to use k equal to 6,000. Therefore, okay. Okay, so we assume that the k is equal to 6,000. Therefore, when you plug in at the constant k, therefore you have your constant equal to 1. And this one, based on theory, 20 log 1. Sama dengan berapa dB? 0. Use your calculator. 0. 0 dB. Okay. Clear? Whether the unknown gain key is given or not given in the question, this is the method. If the unknown gain key is given, just use the value of the gain key and plug in at the numerator and then settle it as one final constant value and use 20 log k. k will be the constant, the final constant value. Okay, you cannot leave, you cannot leave this 30 and 200 at the denominator without simplified with the constant k at the numerator. You have to. Are you done with the constant part? Are we okay? Yes. Next, let's start fill up the table. Okay. Uh, previously, I shared with my student to construct one table like this. Uh, before this, I ajar orang buat satu table. Okay, the complete table for magnitude and phase. This is for magnitude. 
M for magnitude and the right part is for phase. But if you are combining the magnitude and phase table in one large table, you need to um, uh, change your orientation of your answer script from portrait to landscape. Then only it can fit all the columns. Kalau tak, tak muat semua column. Okay, it's up to you. If you do not uh, prefer using the landscape orientation in your answer script, okay, you can separate the magnitude table with the face. They can jadi macam uh, you you still can use um, portrait orientation. Okay, so not separate macam ni. Uh, this one you boleh if you separate both uh, between magnitude and face table, you can use. You can use portrait orientation. Otherwise, if you want to uh, uh, combine both magnitude and phase table in one large table, you need to use landscape orientation. So are you ready to complete this table? Okay, siapa yang dah pernah belajar sebelum ni masa diploma, that's okay. This is an advantage for you for revision. But for those who already forgot what you have uh, learned uh, for bot plot sketching, this is a preparation, the calculation before we sketch uh, uh, this one, there are other methods, but uh, this one is the uh, the fastest one, the easiest for student to understand. Please, I suggest you to use this method. Okay, so the first column, okay, this one you put the factor, this uh, means all the function in your transfer function. In this case, we have first, we have constant. This is our first factor. Okay, we have our constant. Okay. This is our constant, which is equal to one in this case. Okay. Second, we have this one. Okay. For this one, for our second uh, factor, which frequency response theory that you have to refer? From the 10 frequency response theory. So this J omega at denominator, okay, our second factor. Which frequency response theory that you have to refer to? Theory number berapa? Tiga. Theory number? Tiga. Tiga. Very good, Ami. This is number three, pole at origin. Padam nombor ni eh? Nak padam nombor ni. Okay. This is pole at origin. How about this one? J omega over 30 plus 1. Which theory? Theory 7. Very good. Theory number 7, which is pole. How about this one? Same. Same. Theory number 7, pole. So you know that for this all the function, all the factors in your transfer function, you need to refer to three theories. Theory number one for constant at numerator and you have pole at origin, please refer to theory number three. And for pole, you have to refer to theory number seven. Okay, so our factor, the first one, we have one kat sini. So letak dalam ni. One, okay, so it has to, uh, you have to calculate 20 log one here. Okay, depends on your value of the constant. Next, we have J omega. Okay, since it is uh, pole, okay, dalam ni cara dia, you kena tulis sama ada this one, you can tulis 1 over J omega or like this. Okay. Kalau you tulis J omega saja, this is for 0 at origin. Be careful eh, cara you tulis kena betul. Okay. Next, we have this one. This is pole. And the next one pun, we have pole. That's it, we have four. And the final row, kita ada total. This is, will be the total starting point, the total slope for magnitude. We are constructing the magnitude table. Okay, 
So the next column, the second column. Okay, we need to fill out for the starting point for magnitude in dB. Okay, for phase table, kita ada starting point in degree. Okay, so this one is the starting point in dB. Okay, then the next column, kita isi yang atas dulu ya. Yeah. Okay, check the question requirement. Some uh, frequency response question have instruction uh, state that you need to start your pot plot from 0 0.1 radian per second. Some other question might need you to start from 0 0.01 radian per second. Okay, so first check the question requirement whether it state the starting point for your magnitude for your semi uh, for your board plot. If not, start at 0 0.1. Ni macam you punya origin lah. Kalau graph, uh, the, the the ordinary graph, you can start at origin 0 kan? Okay, for similar graph paper, standard starting point is 0 0.1. Okay. Kalau if the question mentions start at 0 0.01, yes, you can start daripada 0 0.01. Kena, ada sebab kenapa you kena start daripada 0 0.01. Okay, kalau tak dia tak mention, then just start at 0.1. Okay, next. Oh, sorry, this one bukan untuk ni eh. Bukan. Uh, sorry, the next column is corner frequency or cut off frequency. The next one baru you punya starting point untuk uh, X axis scaling. Okay. So, for starting DB, okay, kita uh, we fill up the corner frequency first. Is there any corner frequency for constant? Kita punya factor number one ni tadi. Ada corner frequency tak this one? The first factor. For constant, do we have any corner frequency or cut off frequency? Tak ada. Tak ada. Very good. No. Nope. How about pole at origin? Pole at origin, does it has corner or cut off frequency? Negative 20 dB per second. Sorry, Ami. Negative 20 dB per decade. Uh, that one is slope. Oh, yeah. Uh, for example, our third factor, J omega over 30, the cut off frequency is 30. The next one is 200. So how about the pole at origin? What is the cut off frequency? What is the cut off frequency? Corner frequency or cut off frequency is the value of your roots. So what is the value of this root? For pole at origin. So what is the cut off frequency? Kosong. Okay. You boleh letak kosong ataupun you tak nak letak pun tak apa. Sebab dia kosong. Kalau you extend one decade before and one decade after, dia tetap akan jadi kosong. You boleh letak kosong, you boleh letak dash pun boleh. Okay. Okay, then, these two, yang you kena fill up, you kena check you punya cut off. You need to check your cut off frequency. You need, okay, this is your starting point. Okay, starting point 0.1, corner frequency for pole at origin, kosong. So, kosong dalam, uh, in uh, semi-log graph paper, exercise scaling, dia sama dengan 0.1. Sebab tu kalau uh, if for pole at origin, you nak letak cut off frequency kosong boleh. You nak letak dash pun tak apa. Sebab kita memang akan letak ni kosong. Okay. Kita akan memang akan start daripada kosong point satu. Next, you consider this cut off, cut off frequency. You rearrange from the lowest value until the highest value. So you masukkan dalam ni. 3, 10, 200. That's it. Ada soalan? Okay. Okay, Min. 
Okay, next kita fill up dulu starting point for decibel. Ah, yang ni kena tengok starting point untuk magnitude plot daripada ten frequency response theory. Okay, constant theory number one. What is the starting point for magnitude for twenty log one? Starting point ni berapa? Kosong. Very good. Kosong ni. You dah kira dah. 20 log 1. Okay. So kosong. How about the pool at origin? What is the starting point? Pool at origin. Theory number 3. Theory number three, pull at origin. What is the starting point for magnitude? 20. Yes. 20 or positive 20. Next, from theory number seven, you have a two pole function. What is the starting point for magnitude? For pole. Theory number seven. Check theory number zero. seven. Very good. Zero and zero. So for this column, you total up the starting point will be positive 20 dB. Be careful. This starting point, SP, is at 0 0.1 radian per second. If, okay, if, the question, can ask you to start your x axis scaling for semilograph paper at 0 0.01 radian per second you cannot use this positive 20 db as your starting point for magnitude plot because this calculation for starting point for magnitude plot which is in this case positive 20 db is correct for 0 0.1 radian per second so you tengok saya sketch teori number uh, 1 sampai number 10, saya punya origin ialah kosong. Kosong ataupun sebenarnya ialah kosong uh, kosong 0.1 which is similar to 0 0.1. Bukan 0 0.01. So this calculation of starting point in this magnitude table is for starting point at 0 0.1 radian per second. If you have to start your x axis scaling at 0 0.01 you need to calculate another starting point ni saya ajar okay now for current frequency tak perlu kira total okay next this one you can fill up you punya slope based on theory number 1 3 and 7 okay now look at the theory number 1 what is the slope for magnitude plot berapa slope dia Zero for which frequency, Ami? Zero for which frequency? That's more. Saya tak boleh pergi kat tadi. Zero for all frequency. Okay, zero for all frequency. Tahu tak nak tengok dia macam mana? Slope dia? Yang lain okey ke tak? Sorry? Okey ke tak? Kenapa semua kosong? You tengok balik teori number one. Magnitude plot. Sekejap eh, saya tak boleh masuk. Sekejap. Saya pergi page lain dulu. Sekejap eh, saya tak boleh masuk. Dia tengah jam. Saya tak boleh masuk page tadi. 
trẻ Saya tak boleh pergi kat page tadi. You tengok dekat teori number one. Ah, this one. Teori number one. This one. Ni. Kosong. Zero beef all frequency. Itu kan nilai. Okay, 20 log K tu. K you ialah satu. So 20 log K you punya starting point. In this case, KU1 20 log 1 is equal to 0 dB. So, 0 dB is your starting point for constant. Theory number 1. Slope. For all frequency, 0 dB per decade. So, semua, untuk semua frequency, from 0 until infinity. Clear? Faham. Ada soalan? Okay. So, that's why 0 dB per decade for all frequency. You see kosong, kosong, kosong. Okay, sekarang kita tengah isi untuk magnitude, bukan phase. So, refer to theory, uh, 10 frequency response theory, tapi untuk magnitude sahaja. Okay, now, second factor, pole at origin. Starting point, positive 20 dB. Slope. Pole at origin, this one. Hmm. Starting point, positive 20 dB. Kita dah masukkan dah tadi. We already put the starting point, positive 20 dB. Slope, negative 20 dB for all frequency. So, negative 20 dB for all frequency. You masukkan nilai saja, tak perlu masukkan unit. Clear? Ada soalan kalau ada so if you have any question, any part you do, that you do not understand, please ask now. Lepas ni kita nak buat, buat plot, the next class kita nak buat, buat plot sketching, the next class kita dah nak masuk design. Kalau you tak tanya sekarang, you akan ada masalah untuk buat plot sketching, you akan ada masalah untuk design. Faham? Semua okay? Okay. Next, yeah. okay, next is theory number 7. Ah, pergi dekat theory number 7. Ah, tapi masa uh, when you answering this question during test and final, you takkan ada masa untuk refer ni one by one. If you are still referring, it is open book assessment but if you are still referring to these notes while you want to complete your board table, you takkan sempat untuk design. Okay, open book assessment, uh, sometimes it will help you but sometimes it will kill you. So be careful. Okay, so this is the pole. Tengok, starting point kosong. Kita dah isi dah tadi starting point kosong. Mm, slope, below than the current frequency, 0 dB per decade. Ni ya, straight line. Larger than the current frequency, 20 dB per decade. This part, larger than the current frequency. So sekarang kita tengok current frequency kita berapa. Okay, for the third factor, our current frequency is 30. Okay, this one. Our current frequency is 30. Theory number 7 states that lower than the current frequency, current frequency kita 30 dekat sini. Lower than the current frequency, slope is 0. Larger than the current frequency, slope is negative 20. Clear? Ada soalan? Clear, Clear madam. Thank you. Next, our current frequency for our fourth factor is 200 here. So, lower than 200, the slope is 0. Larger than 200, the slope is negative 20. Any question? Okay. Okay. Good. Now, let's total up our slope part for each frequency range from 0 0.1 until 30. The total up this column. So, our total slope from 0 0.1 until 30 radian per second is negative 20 dB. From 30 to 200 radian per second, our total slope is negative 40 dB per decade. And for frequency larger than 200 until infinity, our total slope is 60 dB per decade. That's it for our magnitude table. 
So if you memorize all the 10 frequency response theories, uh, the different types of roots, constant, zero, pole, double, a single, origin or not origin, the starting point, the slope for each magnitude and phase, you can construct this table and complete this table quickly because you need to spend more time on board plot sketching, more calculation, more time for calculation for lead or lead compensator design. Okay, so jangan ambil masa yang terlalu lama. Do not spend too much time on completing this table by referring to the notes page by page. You dah kena start memorize. Okay, boleh? Okay, ni baru magnitude table. We have another table to complete. Can I move to the uh, face table? Are you ready? Face table, the extra panjang sikit. Sebab kita ada frequency range. Okay. So, uh, this column factor, you can, kalau you buat separate, you can see balik this part. So, this one you ada 20 log 1. This one you ada pole at origin. This one you ada uh, pole at 30. This one you are the pole at 200. Okay, that's it. So, if in your second column of magnitude table, you have starting for magnitude in decibel, for phase table, you have starting in degree. The unit is degree. So now, refer to your 10 frequency response theory, but for the phase part. This one. Sekarang you refer yang belah sini pula. So the starting point for constant, zero degree. The slope, zero degree per decade for all frequency. So cara nak isi dia ialah, okay. So starting degree, okay this one starting degree. Yang ni kita akan isi frequency range yang kita decide daripada curve frequency one decade before and one decade after. Okay, yang tadi saya dah ajar kan macam nak tentukan frequency range. From the car of frequency. Okay. Only the, the factor that has car of frequency will have frequency range. Other than that, they take the frequency range. Okay. The next one. Okay. Uh, let's determine our starting uh, for phase plot first. Okay. So for constant, theory number one, starting point for phase is zero. Starting point for phase is zero. Next, pole at origin. Berapa starting point untuk pole at origin? This Negative is pole 90. at origin. Negative 90. So, masukkan dalam tu. Negative 90. Next, theory number seven. What is the starting point for phase? Zero. Zero. This one. Zero. Okay, zero, zero. So total kan, this is the total for magnetic for phase table. So total starting point for your phase plot is negative 90 degree. Clear? Okay, next let's determine the frequency range. Okay, we check the function or the factor that has non-zero cut off frequency. We is two. Dua ini sahaja. Sebab kalau yang ni, the cut off frequency is at zero. When you extend one decade after, uh, one decade before, dia akan jadi kosong. When you extend one decade after, dia akan jadi kosong. So, for constant and pole at origin, dia tak the frequency range. It does not has frequency range. So, what is the frequency range for cut off frequency 30? Berapa ke berapa frequency range dia? 30 divided by 10. 3 ke 300. Next, for 200. Betul? Okay. Any question on frequency range? Dia tak ada total. Then. Okay, next. We write our starting frequency. 
for x at this scaling. Nanti kita akan start dekat 0.1 radian per second. If the question asks you to start at 0.01, so tulis 0.01. And then, kalau if in magnitude table, after the starting point, we write these two based on the cut of frequency from the lowest to the highest value. For this one, we are referring to this frequency range from the lowest to the highest value. So we have 3, 20, 300 and 2000. That's it. Ada soalan? No, madam. Clear eh? Here we show madam. Okay, now yang tengah-tengah ni you can isi slope. Almost similar to the magnitude part. You can isi slope. Okay, refer to theory number one for constant. What is the slope value for phase? Jangan salah refer pada magnitude, eh? refer pada phase to fill up the phase table. What is the value for slope for theory number one? Zero. Zero. Okay, you tengok pada ini. Okay, zero. Zero degree per decade. So, letak zero. Zero, 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 zero. Kalau yang terakhir tu biar ya. Itu untuk isi lain. Okay. Sometimes, saya ajar student to save the time. Kalau value dia zero, you tak payah isi. You just leave it blank. Pun boleh juga. You tak payah tulis. Nak jimat masa ni, you can use any strategy that will help you to do it quickly and correctly. So, tak payah letak. You boleh tinggalkan blank. You nak letak pun boleh macam saya buat tadi. Tapi saya biasa aja student tinggalkan kosong. Dan student memang ada yang ikut. Okay. So for the next one, pull at origin. What what is the slope for face? Zero. Zero. So saya nak biarkan kosong. Zero for all frequency eh. Ni. Daripada 0.1 ke infinity. So for all frequency. So, kosong, 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 kosong. Tapi saya tak nak letak. Biarkan nak, saya nak biarkan blank. Saya nak jimat masa saya, masa test ataupun final. Okay, the next one, theory number seven. As I mentioned before, only within the frequency range, it has non-zero slope. For theory number seven, what is the value of the slope? So for theory number seven, what is the value for slope, for phase slope? Negative 45. Very good. Thank you, Rushaidi. Negative 45 degree per decade. Only within the frequency range. How to fill up? Okay. Your frequency range for the third factor from 3 until 300. Until 300 tu dia akan stop sampai sini. Eh. You tak boleh isi dekat sini. Sini maksudnya dia dah lebih besar daripada 300. The frequency range 3 until 300 dia kena stop dekat sini. Common mistake student akan assume dia dekat sini. Sini maksudnya dia dah stop at 2000. So this one salah. Okay. Dia akan stop dekat sini. Clear? Okay. So, this one negative 45. This one negative 45. Lower than 3, 0. Higher than 300, 0, 0. Any question? Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Kelvin. The next one. The next frequency range for our fourth factor from 20 until 2000. So sampai 2000 tu dekat sini. So larger than 20 negative 45 until 2000 negative 45. Lower than 20 0. Larger than 2000 0. Clear? Clear madam. Question. 
then you can total up your slope for each frequency range for phase table 0, negative 45, negative 90, negative 45, 0. This one, you congak je kan untuk step column. Uh, be careful. Ada student yang salah congak. Habis dia punya buat plot. Okay, you is, this is starting point dah betul. Slope dah betul. Current frequency, frequency range semua dah betul. Tapi sebab congak yang total bawah tu, the last, the final row salah, you punya buat plot sketching habis salah. Okay, be careful. The last column, saya nak you isi. I want you to calculate for ending point in degree. Only the phase plot has ending point. Magnitude only has starting point in db. Ending tak ada. Sebab ending it will depends on this final slope. Dia akan tarik sampai infinity. Negative 60 db per decade. That, that's why for magnitude plot it doesn't has ending point. But for phase it has ending point. Dia akan ada ending point that you need to calculate. Before this saya tak suruh student Letak, uh, I, I do not ask the student to include the column for to calculate the ending point, but I ask the student to calculate the ending point below the table. Tapi ada yang tak buat. Bukan seorang dua, ramai yang tak kira. Tapi boleh pula ending dia pada tempat yang betul, kadang-kadang ada yang salah. Sebab plotting dia tak tepat, so dia ending tempat lain. So saya nak you kira, masukkan dalam table. Okay, listen carefully how to... Uh, Calculate the ending point. Different function in transfer function, different factor in transfer function will contribute different values. Listen carefully. Any constant value, in this case our constant is 1, any constant value will contribute 0 degree. Then, our constant is 1, so ending point is 0. Any uh, zero function, any single zero function will contribute positive 90 degree. I repeat, any single zero function which is from numerator will contribute positive 90 degree. Next, any double zero function will contribute positive 180 degree. Zero, single zero, positive 90, double zero, negative, uh, uh, positive 180 degree. Okay, single zero, positive 90 degree, double zero, positive 180 degree. So you double up. Kalau you ada triple, uh, you tambah lagi 90. Any single pole will contribute negative 90 degree. Either it is pole at origin or it's not pole at origin. Any double pole will contribute negative 180 degree. Clear? So the next, our second factor, pole at origin, they contribute berapa? Hmm, they contribute berapa yang ni? Berapa tadi saya cakap? You all tengah makan kuih raya eh? Tak dengar. Ah, Tak sempat 90. tulis. 90. Ne negative 90. 90. Saya saja tak nak tulis. Saya nak you salin apa saya cakap. Okay, so this one negative 90. Manalah tahu tengah sibuk makan kuih raya ke? Ataupun makan seredak kuih raya. Ada lagi tak kuih raya? Tak ada dah. Tak ada. Habis <laughs> medium. Habis dah. Hmm. Raya terkejut. Tak sempat buat kuih raya. Okay next. Next factor. Our third factor. Pole. Tadi pole at origin. Sekarang pole. Berapa dia contribute untuk ending point for phase? Berapa? Faris. Arif. Berapa ni? Berapa ni?
ni single zero. Pole at origin, single zero. Pole, theory number seven, single zero. The next one, pole, theory number seven, single zero. So, negative 90, negative 90, and then you sum up the ending point for this column, negative 270. So, your starting point is at negative 90 degree. Your ending point must be at negative 270. Kat mana dia nak berakhir 270 degree ni? Okay, ni saya sketch. Saya draft sketch saja eh. Okay, uh, ni untuk face. Kita ni 0.1 radian per second. Uh, this one, uh, you can start dekat negative 90 degree. Ni you punya ending negative 270 degree. Okay, you can start dekat 0.1 uh, sampai 3. 0, macam eh. This part. And then you can turun sikit. Positive 45 degree. And then you can turun lagi from 20 to 300. Negative 90 degrees. Slope, the different slope, negative 45 and negative 90, they mesti akan nampak beza. Saya, once you submit your uh, board plot sketching, saya tengok, saya dah tahu dah slope you accurate ataupun tidak. Okay. Negative 45 dengan negative 90, slope mesti berbeza. Dia tak boleh sama. Kalau you salah plot, you punya uh, ending point untuk face tak akan berakhir pada 270. Okay, so from 300 to 2000, dia akan negative 45 balik. Ini saya sketch nanti kita, next class kita akan belajar uh, plot accurately. At 2000, dia dah start 0, dB per, 0 degree per decade. Kat sini dia akan berakhir pada negative 270. This one, negative 90 degree dia akan start. Okay, ha, ni saya sketch saja. Ni pada 3. This one pada 20 radian per second. This one pada 300. This one pada 2000. Clear? Clear, madam. Ada soalan? So far tak ada, madam. Okay. So, uh, Once, uh, okay, uh, sometimes kalau uh, you punya semilog graph paper ialah 4 decade. Sekejap eh, saya. Uh, you punya semilog graph paper. 4 decade tau. Okay, so this is 1 decade. This is another 1 decade. This is another 1 decade. This is another 1 decade. Let's say the question, uh, uh, the question uh, 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 just now we uh, assume that uh, we have to start at 0 0.1 radian per second. Okay, so the first one, okay, cari you nak, uh, uh, the, the way you want to use your semi graph paper in the correct orientation. Ada student yang ada salah eh, dia terbalik dia punya orientation. Make sure, okay, this scaling of your x axis uh, is not necessarily at the top of the paper. Sometimes when you buy the colored one, your x-axis scaling boleh jadi dekat bawah. No matter the x-axis label, 1 until 9, 1 until 9 ni, untuk 4 decade ke 5 decade, at the top or the bottom of the paper, the correct orientation is you read it number 1 at your left, you read it number 9 ni dekat sebelah kanan. Yang ni sebab dia habis letak nombor 10 lah kat sini. Okay, so one at the left, nine at the right. And then they repeat lagi untuk uh, another decade. One at the left, right, nine at the right. One at the left, nine at the right. Bukan, okay, bukan sembilan, lapan, tujuh sampai satu. Yang ni orientation ni salah. Okay. It's not about the x axis scaling at the top or the bottom, but the way you read. The scaling for x axis number 1 increasing until number 9 from left to right. Clear? Ada soalan? Clear, yeah, Madam. Okay. Let's see. Katalah tadi saya nak draft untuk uh, yang kita buat table tadi kan. Okay. Cara dia ialah. 
first okay so tadi you start dengan 0 okay 0 0.1 so the first one tu tadi okay so 0 0.1 this is your starting point the next one is 1 the next one is 10 the next one is 100 the next one is 1000 if you notice, our frequency, our highest frequency sampai 2000 for phase plot. Betul atau tidak? Betul. Sampai, meaning that, okay, you do not need to use 5 decades. You tak perlu guna yang 4, uh, 5 decade. 4 decade is enough. The thing is, you do not have to plot it until 2000. You plot sampai 1000 saja. That's enough. Okay. Sebab ada student bila dapat case macam ni, dia pakai, kalau dalam exam pun, during the face-to-face -face exam, the paper that has been provided by the academic office pun for semis, for decades of the semi graph paper. Macam ni lah, for decades. The thing is, when the student cannot finish until contoh 2000, dia tak boleh plot, the student ask another paper and then dia pergi tampal dekat sebelah sini ataupun dia stapler. Dia sambung another semi-lograph paper. Sebab dia nak plot juga sampai 2000 radian per second tadi. Ha, dia pergi tampal ataupun dia staple dekat sebelah sini. Sebenarnya tak perlu pun. You punya analysis untuk gain margin, face margin tu. Pembuat soalan dah tahu dah. Walaupun you tak boleh plot sampai 2000, tak boleh habiskan sampai negative 270. It's enough untuk you dapatkan information from these four decades to to proceed with the design question. So, jangan risau kalau tak boleh plot habis, you plot sampai the maximum frequency, that's enough and then dah cukup dah untuk you analyze from the four decades information daripada magnitude and phase plot. Clear? Tak? Faham. Ah, okay, so the yeah. next class. Eh, um... You nak sambung next class ke ataupun this coming Thursday uh, kita nak cancel class so you boleh buat revision. So kita sambung hari Selasa. Sebab kelas uh, yang student kelas Monday pun Monday wesak day cuti. So dia uh, dia dah akan miss kelas hari Isnin. So you tak miss kelas hari Isnin tapi saya bagi option untuk tak buat kelas hari Kamis. So saya akan ajar you buat plot sketching hari Selasa. It's up to you. Kalau you nak proceed kelas hari Kamis saya boleh proceed. Saya setuju dengan cadangan Madam. Cadangan yang mana tu? Apa dia? Buat revision. You nak buat revision hari Kamis tak nak ada kelas eh? Ha. Okay boleh. So kita akan sambung you punya kelas. Okay revision nanti you you tengok balik eh yang kita dah discuss final exam question sebelum ni. So on next Tuesday Please be prepared with your semi-log graph paper. Make sure you dah print. Make sure you either dual rulers of uh, at least one short ruler. Okay. And one long ruler. And then pencil untuk you sketch. Uh, semi-log graph paper tu janganlah print satu je. Kalau takut tersalah sketching. Uh. So you need extra semi-log graph paper. Saya akan ajar bot plot sketching manual eh. Uh, so get ready. Uh, we will using this table. So make sure siapa yang belum, okay this one, uh, this uh, during class mungkin you just copy apa yang saya explain. Make sure you repeat balik nanti sebelum kita buat board board sketching. Make sure you faham all the information that has been included in this table, you understand one by one. Semua you faham kenapa nilai dia macam ni, kenapa total macam ni, you kena faham. Okay, then we will use this table for board board sketching on next Tuesday. Okay. Okay, madam. Okay, okay madam. Okay. Um, any question on test one? 